One of the things that makes a responsive design work in Adobe Captivate are the fluid boxes. So you can access the fluid box on the top left hand corner right over here under the insert menu where it says fluid box. So if I were to click on this, you get two options. You can add in a vertical or a horizontal fluid box. So I'm going to add in a horizontal fluid box right over here. So I'm going to say horizontal and here I can choose the number of columns for the fluid box that I want to add. So over here, let's do this. Let's choose uh, two horizontal fluid box. And once I do that, you can see that in my work area, now you see two equal divided fluid boxes. Now you can see that there's fluid box number four and six, depending on the way you work and you keep on working, the number changes up. So over here, you can see on the center, there is like a blue icon, which you can drag around. Right now, by default, this has been divided into two equal sections. I can use this to drag this around to the left or right, just like this, so that I can have more of the other area if I want to. So I can go over here and you can see that I can move around the fluid box right over here according to what I want. I can also go over here and add in a vertical fluid box now. So I can select this fluid box out, just click on it, and I'm going to go to fluid box and I'm going to click on vertical. I'm going to have two vertical fluid boxes. And now you can see that there's three fluid boxes right here, three sections. So I can drag this up and drag this down. So there is, uh, so there is a horizontal fluid box and inside one of the horizontal fluid boxes, there are two vertical fluid boxes. So that's how we understand the things out. And as I resize, what happens is that you can see that the fluid boxes resize and once it reaches a certain point, it realigns itself to a, different, uh, to a different layout, as you can see, like this. So it really helps with the responsive design, just like that. You can also see the properties of the fluid box. You can go over here onto the properties and see how it has been aligned. So you can see that this is the main fluid box. Okay, so this is the main fluid box right here. This is fluid box number five right here, number seven, number eight, and number six on the right side. So you can see right here. You can also go on one of them. Let's say I don't want the fluid box six. I can simply delete that out, press OK, and that fluid box has been deleted and the fluid box on the right is not there anymore. So you can see that that is how you can work around with the fluid box as well. So you can go around here into fluid box, click on the names right here and change around manually just like this as well. And as we add on more content to this, this will become much more better. This, so this is fluid box over here. So now I'm going to click over here in the blank area so that I get this property right over here. So that's one of the ways to add in fluid boxes. But the other way is to choose from pre-existing templates. So I'm here in my properties itself. So over here on the right side, you can see that there's a little, uh, a little triangle shaped icon right here. So if I were to just click on this, you can see that I can choose different layouts. So you can go for something like title, which adds in two, two fluid box right here, one on the bottom and one main fluid box right here. You can go over here on to content and you get different fluid box here, one for image, there's the title and one for the caption right over here. You can go over here and change out something like content and so forth. And these are all responsive. Of course, they're fluid boxes. All of them behave to be responsive, just like this. So these are different ways to work around with fluid boxes and you can add in content. So those are how fluid boxes work inside of Adobe Captivate. And in further lessons, we're going to see on how to work with the contents inside of fluid boxes. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.